I'm embarrassed about, um, well, first of all, I didn't have like a whole, like I was operating, you know, in other countries. I didn't have, um, I didn't know I was an entrepreneur. And I think it was because I didn't have any community around me. I was living in really, really, um, you know, places where there was no such thing as that kind of startup hub community. Now it exists, obviously, in Brazil and many places uh, in the south of Italy. Being an entrepreneur or a business owner is like you have a storefront. <laughs> Right. And, exactly. uh, so it wasn't, and uh, you know, and then you're scared that maybe the mafia will bomb it. So it wasn't, you know, that wasn't what I had. I didn't have, uh, for me, I didn't have a business. It was only had to become a business um, because that was what our clients needed. They needed to be able to, you know, for, for invoicing and all these other purposes. So it became a business, but I never really identified myself as an entrepreneur. I was just hustling to, you know, I was, well, first it started off as a hustle and then it was, you know, trying, it ended up being a full fledged business, but we had everyone working remotely uh in this gig economy or even the gig economy was not even a term right. just, so it was like we were just trying to find help in different countries that could help translate uh because i sucked at it but I, I i could get it i did it well enough to just get the business going and to become a business but very quickly we realized the demand was from english into other languages that i was not a native speaker of so um it was very interesting to see that but we didn't really have like a startup culture or anything like i'd work in my pajamas in bed or whatever like we didn't even have like a proper um, you know, place to work or anything. It was just, it was just working from home 